Hey guys. So today I'm going to be showing you guys um, some products that I've been using probably for about a month now, a month and a month and a half. And um, I have three different sets of products that I want to show, so I'll probably have to split it up into three different videos so you can look out for them. One's going to be a skincare video, the other one's going to be an eyebrow um, product video, and the other one is just a new um, like liner and mascara kind of duo that goes together. So um, let me get started. I'm going to do the newest one, which is the Maybelline Lash Stiletto um, Liquid Liner. And this, it's a really, really good liquid liner as far as the color payoff goes. It's got a felt tip um, wand on it. So it's really, it makes it for really smooth um, eyeliner application. So you can see that. See, it's really smooth and it's very pigmented, very black, and it does kind of have that shiny patent finish to it. Um, and of course, it goes, you know, with the Lash Stiletto mascara, which me and this mascara kind of have like a love hate relationship. When I bought it not too long ago, and I absolutely hated it. Like I never ever used it. I probably only used this mascara like once or twice, but I find myself using it whenever I use this liquid liner. I think too because I like things that go in pairs and kind of go together so um, that's what the wand looks like. I'm sure most of you guys have seen the Lash Stiletto Mascara and it's a really thin one and I don't like thin ones. I like a little bit thicker ones so I don't really care for this mascara too much but I do like the way it looks with the um, Lash Stiletto or it's called Lash Line Stiletto Liner and um, I got this one in black. Black is black and this one is also in very black so black liner you know black mascara and the two they do go pretty good together the only thing i do have to say bad about this um liquid liner is it needs to be waterproof just you know point and blank it does not like it does not withstand any anything like if you have allergies or if your eyes water or you're laughing or crying this you're gonna have to reapply your mess your um liquid liner throughout the day you can probably set it with a black um, eyeshadow. That might help it stay a little bit longer. But my physician's formula one is waterproof. And it's not completely waterproof, but it does stay throughout the day. And I don't really have to touch it up. Neither um, does my, uh, my black track from MAC. I don't really have to retouch that throughout the day. But I love how precise the brush is. And, you know, it gives you a really nice, really nice fine line, but... You know, this probably isn't so good for daytime wear. Maybe something more if you're going out to dinner or going out at night, you want really dramatic liner, this is really good for that. But, you know, like I said, if you're sweating or, you know, any kind of water hits it, you're going to have to retouch it. So, that's my little spiel on the Lush Stiletto products. And, you know, I, I like them. I do like them now. I like this mascara a little bit more now. It gives me a little bit more of a natural finish. So I guess I would use this maybe more as a daytime, but not a mascara that I would actually recommend buying to give you volume and length and stuff. Just it really doesn't do a lot for me. Maybe for other people it might. And the liner, like I said, I use this sometimes during the day, but most of the time I either have to pair this with another cold pencil liner underneath or just, you know, put some eyeshadow on top of it and just hope it stays throughout the day. So, you know, good product, but it's got some flaws in it. And then I also recently bought, I was looking just for some nice mascaras, and I've never tried the Colossal, the Maybelline Colossal, and I heard a lot of people that didn't like that, they do like the Colossal, which, it's a very nice brush, it's really thick, it's a very fluffy, like a very fluffy brush. At Target, I got mine at Target, and um, and they had like the little wand out where you could feel it and see what it feels like, and it's very, very fluffy. But um, the only thing with this is it's waterproof. It does kind of clump on my lashes, and it does tend to flake. Like, I find flakes, like, inside my eyes, like, throughout the day. So, that's only one drawback. Maybe the regular um, formula isn't as flaky, but for waterproof, I... It's a very good waterproof, but it's really hard to remove, and it kind of flakes throughout the day if you put too much, so... But with the, um, when I got my line stiletto, um, I did, it was at Walgreens, and it was buy one, get one half off, and I got the Maybelline... It's a Maybelline lip, lip gloss. It's a nude, 
color. It's called Sandstone Shimmer. And that's what it looks like. You can kind of see that. Got a little swatch on my hand. Uh, you can kind of pick that up. Like, it's a really nude, very nude, very shimmery lip gloss. I love it for nude looks, and I just have chapstick on right now, so. You can kind of see it's very nude, and it's just shimmery. Just a nice shimmery lip gloss. And I tend, you know, I really do like it. It's not sticky. It's not a sticky formula, and it does, you know, last pretty long, and it's just like a regular lip gloss would. But, um, I like it. I would recommend this lip gloss, Sandstone Shimmer, for anybody who wants to do a nude lip with a little bit of gloss and shine and frost to it. And, you know, it's really good for basically any kind of eye. So, um, that's about it for that part. So um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys try the line stiletto and you have other tips and tricks on how to make it stay on better. Or if they do come out in a waterproof. I know the mascara now comes in waterproof. I've seen that when I bought this. So, um, you know, maybe they'll come out with a waterproof version, which I would probably recommend. And probably like a lot better. But for now, this is what I got. And, you know, I like it. I don't like it. Kind of like this. I have a low-hate relationship with it. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And you can comment down below or leave me a message. Um, please comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.